Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to install this Duesenberg Les Trem 2 onto a guitar which has a tunomatic and tailpiece configuration. Um, the first thing I would say now, um, here is the, the instructions. The first thing I would say clearly in the instructions it says that um, the distance between the centres of the two bolts at the tailpiece should be 81.5 millimeters center to center. So you need to measure that 81.5 millimeters. If your tailpiece is not that, then this will not work for you. So that is the first thing you need to do. Before you think about anything, if you want to do something like this, you need to measure that. So, okay. So the first thing I've done after I knew that this is all going to work for me is just remove the strings okay so I did that off camera because nobody needs to see me removing strings so this is exactly as you would expect on a guitar and so I'm just going to remove the tailpiece and these are the original bolts I am going to unscrew them You can just put them aside with the tailpiece. Now, so you can see the parts here. I've got two bolts and two washers. I've got two other bolts and two washers. I've got the Allen keys and I've got the tram itself. This is what ships in the packet exactly what's laid out in front of you. Now, I've already predetermined that these are the bolts. The, the four bolts have different threads so two have imperial threads for us style guitars and two have metric threads for basically everywhere else so you need to determine which of the threads is actually fitting your uh, studs so these are the threads that are going to work for me now the washers are to ensure that on some guitars the, the, the um, actual insert part stands a bit proud of the guitar and it might be a flat guitar and so you test the Les Trem onto that and if it doesn't come in contact any part of it with the surface of your guitar then that's fine you can just attach it. My guitar I have put this on and the Les Trem does come into contact with the guitar so they recommend using the supplied washers underneath the Les Trem and therefore you um, don't have the risk of scratching your guitar. Because the whole idea of the Les Trem is that it attaches onto your guitar in such a way that you can totally reverse it and there is no damage whatsoever to the guitar. Now I found it easy to do the, the end closest to the trim first because just to get that in and thread it up and then you have the more open side is easier to sort of wiggle around. This is as simple as it is to do. Just screw that bolt down I'll tighten it more in a minute. Just get this right over the hole. Now, so like I said, it's a bit easier on this end if you need to do a bit of wiggling. It can be a bit finicky to find the exact thread sometimes and there we go but don't force that because you don't want to wring the thread of the the screw but there you go so just a little wiggle and hey presto now we have the trem attached to the guitar so the next thing to do in the instructions is to completely string it up 
and to tune it to pitch because you, it, that's going to change the angle of the trem arm and then you loosen up the two allen key things so that it readjusts and then you tighten back up everything so I'm going to do that now I'm going to string up the guitar and when we come back we will see how the angle of the trem arm has changed just by the tension of the strings and so by the magic of editing we're now tuned up to pitch so everything has settled down it has lowered the angle of the arm so now all I have to do is adjust the Allen key here to adjust exactly to the angle that I want and then tighten it up and that is the entire installation that's tight there now that looks about right again it's just loosen it up and it's something you can play with there's another bolt on this side so you can tighten it both sides so that's not going to budge now I'll have a play with that and um, I will be doing a review and which will be uh, an, another video to this and um, I'll do a complete uh, demo of the sound tuning stability all that jazz but this is just literally the step-by-step -step procedure of putting it on and as you can see all done in real time apart from tuning up it's literally a five minute procedure and um, I have to say from that basis I would give it 10 out of 10 I love how easy this was from start to finish to put on the guitar again it's completely reversible so you hold on to your your tailpiece and the original bolts of your guitar and you could literally change this as often as you're changing strings to meet your own personal uh, whim at the time so to me that's a great product you don't need to drill anything or damage the guitar in any way as I say you could change it as often as you're changing strings okay guys see you next time for the review